What is up YouTube, Rain back again, and I'm just making a video on why you're struggling to rank up in CSGO matchmaking, because I'm having the same problem, so I decided to make a video on it. Generally, I like playing CSGO, I do love matchmaking. However, in EU, on matchmaking, it is ELO hell. Trying to rank up, playing with people that don't speak the same language as you. The whole EU servers range all the way from Russia to the UK, all the way down to Portugal, and I believe even Turkey. So we're getting Northern African players, Russian players, British players, and the rest of EU playing on one server. Everybody speaks a different language. Nobody can communicate with each other and nobody can agree on what language we should all speak. I can ask a guy to speak English. He says, no, he says suka bleat and then he says rush B. So I have a clip here where I'm playing solo queue and I'm holding short with a deagle as a CT and they're giving comms that are not in English. I heard the guy say kitchen. Some people call it market. I, I assumed he's behind me, but I couldn't hear the footsteps. Uh, and then he just starts shouting at me. You this is what shot, happens. You don't give any hit, man. Any hit. You have no headshot. Okay, so can you retard. Have stuck. Retard. He toxic idiot. And despite me playing like this on the first round on CT side, they still tried to vote kick me. I was giving comms, I was trying my best, and they were just very toxic towards me the whole game. Last short, short boy. Short, 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 short. You only half HP, half HP. We bring him, pick him. It's what the fuck, bless. That is generally the problem with EU matchmaking. I've come across a handful of hackers. Hackers is hackers are always a problem on CSGO. And hopefully on CS2 they do implement a new system. I have seen some things uh, in talks of VAC Live where it will determine if a guy is cheating or not with reports coming from the game. The game will automatically get canceled. I believe that Valorant also has something that is similar to this, where the game will get canceled and nobody will lose ELO. Things will just be a lot better. The Valve ELO system is quite weird. And I do believe that they're thinking about changing that on CS2 where it will be ELO. Now back to why you're struggling to rank up, especially if you're playing on EU servers, you'll come across people that are speaking different languages and not making comms and things like that. Communication is very important on CSGO. Just that type of gameplay, 5v5. It's just harder to play compared to the NA servers where majority of the people do speak English. They're all communicating with each other. And NA servers do seem to be a lot fun. I've played on NA servers a handful of times, a good handful of times. And I do generally have more fun because everybody speaks the same language. It's all good fun. And it's just a generally good game to play. When I solo queue on EU servers, I 90% of the time the only English speaking person, especially when I solo queue. And I just can't have a good time when I'm playing on EU servers. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. Um, especially if you're coming from an English speaking country. And I'm of the opinion that EU are generally just better CSGO players. Now, according to this list, Simple, Zaiwu and Shiro, the top three CSGO players at this moment in time. Now, Simple is from Ukraine, Zaiwu is from France and Shiro is from Russia. So generally coming from the EU side, now there are not many people from NA in this top list. We do have some people from Brazil and America, but it's not common. Most of these countries are from the EU server base. And I do know that like Turkey and Russia are not really considered as like EU countries, but that is the servers that Valve has decided for CSGO matchmaking to be grouped as. But I think the main issue for matchmaking as an EU player is that Valve is not accommodating with servers in different regions. Right, figure this out very early, which is why Valorant has a better server system, which allows the game to be a lot more competitive. Hopefully with the release of CS2, they release a server picking system that divides EU region to play EU West or EU East. EU West is England, France, Spain, the Netherlands, 
Portugal, you know, those countries and EU East are more like Ukraine, Romania, Russia, Turkey. Now, a bit of advice if I if you do want to try and improve quickly before CS2 does come out and you just want to get better at the game in general, I would advise playing trying out face it where the tick rate is a lot higher. It's double the tick rate, so tick rate on face it is 128, where normal matchmaking is 64. So your jump smokes might not land most of the time. Your movement does feel a bit choppier. Your shoulder peeking people and they can see you before you can see them. And things like that where the tick rate is a lot higher on face it. So if you do play on face it, you'll be more accustomed to CS2 when it comes out. Because CS2 does have tick less servers. Which is very interesting to see. I do not have, I do not have access to CS2 at the moment. But I'm interested to see how... The tickless servers will work. Face it is also just more competitive in general. You'll go and find pug games, which is pickup games, where you can just go find a stack of players, and most likely they're more competitive, willing to talk, willing to agree on one general language to speak. If everybody's Russian in that game, everybody's gonna speak Russian. If a lot of people are English, they're gonna to wanna to speak English. And you know, good comms. And face it does have a good anti-cheat system that will detect any cheats on your computer, which will get you banned instantly. Now there are a handful of cheaters on face it, but it is drastically less to what we see on normal matchmaking but yeah guys thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe leave a comment below on what servers you enjoy playing on if you play face it and you don't like matchmaking comment down below let me know why are you looking forward to cs2 thank you guys for watching peace